Ever since the start of the offseason in January, JT Daniels has been towards the top of the leaderboard in Heisman odds for the 2021 season. He's been in the top five, top ten pretty much the entire time, but there's one particular website now that has him listed as the favorite to win the Heisman, and that is Bet Online. They, their updated Heisman Trophy odds as of a couple days ago are JT Daniels at first 5-1 to one with Oklahoma quarterback, soon to be SEC Oklahoma in a few years. Um, Spencer Rattler as second at 7-1. to one. And Spencer Rattler has been, you know, for the entire offseason, pretty much has been the favorite to win the Heisman. You know, look at what Oklahoma did the last few years. You know, three years running, they had Baker Mayfield win the Heisman as a quarterback. Year after that, Kyler Murray won the Heisman as a quarterback. The year after that, they had Jalen Hurts come in second for the Heisman. And so Oklahoma has had that lineage of Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks the last few years. And Spencer Rattler seems to be next on that list as a guy who can come in and put up those crazy numbers. But Bet Online right now has Georgia quarterback JT Daniels as the favorite to win. Um, that doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but there's a lot of hype surrounding JT Daniels, and you know Spencer Rattler, DJ Ugalele, the the Clemson quarterback, uh, Alabama quarterback Bryce Young, um, Ohio State quarterback even CJ Stroud was yet to start a game. Uh, UNC quarterback Sam Howell. These are kind of the names that have been up there in that top five, top ten, as players who are likely going to be likely going to have big seasons. JT Daniels has been up there, but. He's starting to get recognized as someone who really could win this thing, and Bet Online, as as just a couple days ago, has him at five to one odds, which I think is a little extreme to win the Heisman Trophy um, ahead of Rattler, Young, and and Ugalele guys that um, you know have varying experience, and you know Rattler's a guy that that was the number one overall player or quarterback in his class um, two classes ago and then JT Daniels obviously a high recruit and we saw um, last year JT Daniels could put up big numbers so can JT Daniels win the Heisman Trophy um, this coming season I think it's very possible um, but when's the last time we've seen someone from Georgia come in and win the Heisman Trophy it's been a while so um, Herschel Walker and then the last time there was a finalist was Garrison Hurst in 1992 so it's not very common for for a Georgia football player to to be in this position but JT Daniels is a guy that can come in and put up huge numbers we saw it in his very first start against Mississippi State he comes in and puts up 400 yards and four touchdowns against a not very great defense but still he's gonna play a few not very great defenses this this coming season so JT Daniels obviously has proven, you know, he has all the weapons. Um, but let's look back at the last couple, the last couple of, you know, quarterbacks that were either finalists or winners, you know, specifically Mac Jones and Joe Burrow, um, what it took for them to become Heisman Trophy contenders. I mean, I have the numbers right here. Mac Jones had 4,500 passing yards and 41 touchdowns in 13 games, and he averaged about 346 passing yards per game that's a lot and he didn't win the Heisman he lost to his teammate Devontae Smith who was very deserving but it shows you the type of numbers Joe Burrow who had the insane season and ran away with the Heisman in 2019 averaged 378 passing yards per game he had 60 passing touchdowns so these these big numbers are what JT Daniels needs to win the Heisman trophy is that something he can do well let's look at the small sample size he gave us in um in 2020 where he only played four games in a Georgia Bulldogs uniform he comes out and he has the 400 yard passing game and four touchdowns against Mississippi State but then against South Carolina you know he has less than 150 yards and and Georgia was run heavy it was kind of an ugly game not a high scoring game and and JT Daniels didn't have big numbers he was 10 for 16 on attempts that's something that can happen multiple times in a season for for a Georgia team with so many so much talent in the backfield where there's certain games where they can control the pace with their running and Georgia doesn't even necessarily have to pass it that much. We saw that with Jake Fromm. There were some games there was a couple games where he didn't even have a hundred yards passing. Yes, Georgia has the weapons and JT Daniels has the arm talent and he has the the polish at quarterback. To distribute and, and get the ball out to these weapons but there are going to be games where Georgia relies on on the run game more 
And, you know, you have guys like Zamir White, James Cook, Kendall Milton, Kenny McIntosh, Jazon Edwards, um, even more running backs than that. Those are all four or five star guys who can each come in and rush for 100 yards on any given, on any given game. And, and, and we saw last year where there were, there were a few games for Georgia where the run game was more prominent than the passing game. And JT Daniels, even just um, you know, just ten or so days ago at SEC Media Days, he said he doesn't care if it has to be a bunch of dump downs. He doesn't care if if they run the ball every play. Um, not specifically what he said, but along the lines of what he said was that it doesn't matter as long as they win the game. So JT Daniels is not a guy that's going into the game thinking, "I want all these crazy stats. I want 500 yard passing yards." I want six touchdowns. So JT Daniels is coming into this season with the mindset of a team player. So is he is he going to to fight for for those extra yards and um, and the and the glory stats? Probably not. I'm not saying that the that any other player is doing that. You know, like the last couple of highs, last few Heisman's. Not saying that any of them were were just going for stats, but. JT Daniels understands what this offense is and how it, it can be a very balanced run and pass offense because of all the talent across the board, especially in that backfield. And he understands that there are going to be some games that may end up being run heavy. So I think that something that can hold him back, um, as we saw in the South Carolina game, he they don't have to necessarily have three, four hundred yards passing to win to win football games. I mean. He has an opportunity against Clemson um, in Charlotte, September fourth, to come in and and to have a, a big statement game. But but the mindset is it do, uh, let's do whatever it takes to win as a team. And so they're not necessarily going. If if that means J T Daniels needs to pass for 100, 500 yards, then then they're going to do that. But you have to remember this team has so many weapons um, in the backfield that that really could prevent prevent him from having the statistical season to win a Heisman not saying that they're not going to have a great year and and get really far because I think this Georgia team has extreme potential um, to make it to the playoff and, and they have national championship potential on this roster but JT Daniels for Heisman I personally don't see that as a super likely scenario just just given the history of Georgia football and and the history of the run game and there's so many weapons. I mean, it's going to be distributed across the board. Um, I'm not discounting that it could happen. I think JT Daniels has the potential to do that. I mean, he has so many five-star receivers, so many talent. You know, Arik Gilbert, um, Jermaine Burton, just to name a couple. There's so many other weapons. Darnell Washington, Arian Smith, um, Dominic Blaylock, all these guys. They've got the tools for him to have uh, crazy stats. I just don't know that the game plan and the game style that Munkin's offense is going to run is going to be conducive for him to have four or five hundred yard games every game and to where he's going to be at the top of the Eisen board by the end of November, December, when all that voting starts to commence. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so, I don't know, but... I mean, he he will come in against against Clemson September fourth. He can make a statement game, kind of the in a similar way that um, you know Joe Burrow made a statement early on in that 2019 LSU season against Texas and had and had great stats and Heisman moments in that game. So J T Daniels can come in and do that against Clemson and really you know uh, propel himself ahead of the rest of the competition to begin the season. So he has an opportunity to do that there. Is he going to win the Heisman at the end of the year? If I had to predict, probably not. I think that maybe some of these other quarterbacks or even running backs or receivers could have a crazier statistical season on a 10 or 11 win team. Um, and and then maybe they take it. But he definitely could be in New York for that Heisman Trophy ceremony. I mean, he's 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 in the top two, three, four, five in almost every single um, Heisman, on a, almost every single website's Heisman odds. You know, he's tied for second on VegasInsider.com with you, DJ Ugalele behind Spencer Rattler and like I said he is now the favorite for bet online but is he going to win the Heisman I don't know it starts with that Clemson game that's his opportunity to make a statement and push forward but JT Daniels seems to be team oriented it doesn't sound like Heisman's his goal and I just think there's too many mouths to feed that you know especially in the backfield that I don't know that JT Daniels is going to have the insane stats and we've seen that they don't have to he doesn't have to have a 400 yard game for for Georgia to win and their schedule might not be conducive for him to have that much have the insane uh, passing stats 
every single game. So let us know below. Um, we'll see you guys on the website, dogpost.com, but let us know below in the comments if you think JT Daniels has a realistic opportunity to win the Heisman this season or if you think that there maybe are too many weapons. Um, you guys let us know what you think below.